Superbase storage allows you to store user-generated files. In order to securely store those files, you need to set permissions on who can access what. You can control user permissions of your storage bucket using role-level security policies. Let's take a look at some examples. Say we have a profiles bucket where each user will store their publicly viewable profile image. In this bucket, we want to have the following structure, where every user have their own folder for their images. Let's create some security policies to enforce this folder structure. Let's give it a name, and we will add the policy to insert, update, and delete events. Since our bucket is public, we don't need to worry about select policies. We can select Authenticated as the target roles for these security policies because we want them to apply to logged in users. Here, storage.folder name is a function that comes with every Superbase project and contains a path to the files and array of text. Since Postgres uses one base indexing for arrays, this gives us the first element making sure that user ID matches the root folder. We also have other handy functions ready for you. File name gives you the name of the file, and extension gives you the file extension. Before saving the policy, Superbase gives us the actual SQL that will run to add the policy. We can go ahead and hit save. And that's it! Your bucket is secured. This was just one example, but by using columns and functions that was introduced today, you can have different access control over your storage buckets. To learn more about Superbase storage and a whole lot more about Superbase, head to superbase.com.